All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be uh, building a tongue box today. I need to uh, put a shell on my truck and I don't wanna carry all my straps and chains with me anymore in the truck. So uh, we're gonna build a permanent tongue box. I have got uh, the pieces all cut to length here. This is just the eight inch wide, uh, eighth inch flat bar left over from the fenders that I built on this trailer. So I've already got them cut to length, figured out what sizes I need. So I'm just gonna get them all tacked together, squared up, and then I'll get the trailer pulled in here. I'm also gonna permanently mount the winch. We'll get that all wired and we'll uh, get that looking good. So here we go. Get those welded down. I've just tacked it across here. I'll go throw some stitches in there. And this isn't gonna be weather tight. I'm just gonna throw some expanded metal in the bottom of there. And then I've got this, uh, it's hard to see. Got that welded on. That'll be nice. But uh, I'll throw some stitches in here and then we'll go cut a piece for the lid. We'll go from there.
All right, we got it. So I had to piece this piece of expanded together in the bottom. It was kind of a leftover from another job, so that was nice. Didn't have to go buy another piece, but I got this all stitched on, and that's eight inch. It's pretty solid. The lid I got there. I'm gonna take that and get it sandblasted because that rust is kind of ugly to look at. But we got this all welded in, and it's pretty solid. I stood in the bottom there. It's pretty tough, so that should be nice for my straps and some chains. And then this winch I got permanently mounted on here. I'll get this uh, hook put back on. I had to do that to get the cable to come through the fair lead. But got that on. And I think I'm still going to use the jumper cable setup that I got. Just so I don't have to buy a battery right now. Because um, this I don't think is tall enough to fit a battery. And I've already got the cables. And they seem to work just fine. So I'll probably just part this off put a little partition in there or something that I can just stuff all the cable and stuff down in and then I'll uh, the little relay box for the winch I'll just mount to the side there too um, then I'll just poke a hole through here run my cable out through there to the winch motor but that's that that'll be nice now I won't have to remember to bring the winch if I got to go get something or and now also it's out of the way the fairly just barely sticks past behind the headache rack. So if I ever have to side load something or stack pallets on there, it'll, uh, won't, shouldn't be in the way. So I'm going to get some hinges, just some little, uh, half pin barrel hinges. And I'll put a couple on the back of here and I won't bore you guys with painting this thing because painting's painting, nothing too fancy about that. So I'll get this thing painted, get that lid welded on. So I won't uh, bother to video any of that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you liked it, give it a like. Maybe give it a subscribe if it's something you want to see. All the sorts of fabrication stuff we get into and whatnot. So that's that. We'll see you on the next one.